everyone this is Tanya here with memory lane keepsakes and welcome back to my channel as everyone should know all of my videos are made for adults who are 18 years and older thank you so much for respecting that welcome to my channel today I am back to share a tutorial that I saw on the Scottish crafters channel she showed where you can make a loaded envelope and it's an easier way so for anyone who has been wondering how to do a loaded envelope I am back to share a tutorial now she mentioned that she got it from somewhere else but she couldn't remember. I will also post a link to her video in the description box as well to give credit because I did see it from her. But she is not the creator of it and I'm not either. But I just wanted to come on here and share um, what I saw so I could share it with someone and maybe be a help to you all. So let's go ahead and get started. And first I want to say thank you again for clicking on this video. I hope this um, video is helpful to you. And then also, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I hope you choose to do so. In addition to that, feel free to comment down below as well as click the bell for notification and give this video a thumbs up. So I thank you for that in advance. So what you're going to need to get started for the loaded envelope, you're going to need a 12 by 12 sheet. Now she recommend a double sided sheet. In this case, I'm going to use one solid piece and that's what I'm going to do to make this easy because some of the um, depending on what patterns you may go with sometimes it may change up your design based on how the envelope is laid out so here I have a 12 by 12 sheet you will also need a scoreboard of some sort I use the we are memory keepers scoreboard and it has all of the measurements at the top that makes it really really easy and then it also comes with the um, the bone folder in addition to that it has some other pieces like the the little template here guide to show you how to make envelopes and gift boxes and different things of that nature so if you was wondering that's also kept inside the little um, board itself as well which is really phenomenal so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and share with you now on how you um, make this loaded envelope so using a 12 by 12 sheet you're going to score at three and a quarter which is three and one fourth so you want to come straight down so three and one fourth is here so you want to come all the way down and go back over it again one more time for reinforcement to make sure that you got a good score line there and you can take your time then what you want to do is you want to flip your paper flip your paper and you want to score again at three and a quarter which is also three and one fourth Then what you want to do is turn your paper one time at the right. At this point right here, you want to go ahead and you want to score at three and three fourths. So I'm going to find that three and three fourths is right here. All right, so now you're done with your scoreboard. So you can go ahead and move your scoreboard out of the way. So you should have something that looks like this right here, if you can see those lines. So I have a line coming straight down here, one coming down here, that's my three and one fourths. And then I have three and three fourths coming across the bottom down here. All right, so now I'm gonna move my scoreboard out the way. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and reinforce those folds. So basically at this point what you want to do is you want to go ahead and turn your paper in. And you want to go ahead and use a bone folder here. And go over those lines that you just scored to basically go ahead and make sure that you have a good crease. You want to do the same thing for this side here. And so now you should have something that looks just like this. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to flip this straight up. And you have something that looks like this. And now I want to crease this with the bone folder to reinforce that score line. 
and so now it looks like this okay now you can also go ahead and choose you can keep it like this if you want to or you can go ahead and fold in the top corners if you wish to make a collar and I'll show you one um, that's similar to that there and so basically what you can do is you will basically fold this straight out like this and you want to make sure that the corner lay this down here it's catching on that side all the way to that edge if you can see that and bring the camera in just a little bit more there all right so now you want to take your score your bone folder and score this across or reinforce that collar there and you want to do the same thing for the other side kind of line it up and just bring fold this down a little bit here just checking to make sure it's lining up the right way and it is and then I'm gonna put like a little another crease right there using a the bone folder and I missed that edge right there so let me go ahead and go back to that side there There we go. Got it that time. So here we go. So this is what it should look like. So that looks a whole lot better now. So you can see that fold right there and now it's ready for goodies to go inside. In this area right here, there's a pocket. And also in this area right here, there's a pocket. So that pretty much creates your easy loaded envelope. Now at this point, as you can see, nothing has been adhered together. So at this point right here, you can choose whether you want to use some glue. In this case, I'll be using a belly art glue, but any glue will pretty much work. And you can also either choose to use red line tape if you prefer that method is um, in place of the glue. So I'm going to use the glue to go ahead and glue mine down. I've also grabbed my clips that I got from the Dollar Tree right here to um, go ahead and lay those areas down so they can dry while I keep moving along. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what you want to do um, with that, what I'm going to do is you don't want to seal all, um, you can seal this part right here, but you don't want to glue anything that's inside here because you will close up your pocket if you do so. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up glue on the edge of this right here okay and then I'm going to go ahead and close this in you can see the glue is right there on the side Get us a good row with the bone folder there. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I would like to add glue also in this area right here to bring this pocket up. So now you want to go ahead and put the glue all the way around. So then you can see where I have my glue on that part of the loaded envelope and I'm going to bring this straight up and just lay this straight down. Okay and at this point this is where I'm going to go ahead and bring in my clips so that way that side can be adhering while I'm working on the other part. That's just to reinforce those areas so I don't have to hold them.
so it's going to look something like that until you um, get it to dry and now you can choose up here whether you want to use brads which that's what the Scottish Crafter did or you can use glue in those areas so you can have it kind of pop up kind of like this like a tuxedo collar if you want to or a shirt collar or you can lay it straight down and just glue it in this case I'm going to glue it for the sake of time and you want to make sure that you get those areas that is part of that collar in the back and I'm gonna add a little bit more glue in there I'm gonna do the same thing for up here and so now I'm just gonna lay this on down Use my bone folder to crease out the glue a little bit to help it along the way. And at that point, you can decorate it any way you want. You can go ahead and remove your clips if you choose to because it doesn't take long for it to dry on the sides. You can feel free to add more glue if needed or you can do a red line tape to make it quicker for you. And voila, you have your loaded envelope. So I have my pocket right here for different things to go inside of. And I also have this pocket right here that's available for things to go inside of, as you can see. So there's two pockets right there. And if you really want to add another pocket, you can feel free to do that as well. Maybe one in the back or one down here. But this is just a way to show you how to do the loaded envelope. And also another tip for you as well. You can also, let's say for example, you don't have a lot of double-sided paper in your stash. In this case, you saw I use a single or a solid, one solid color to demonstrate this. You can get creative and you can pull out paper from your stash that are two single 12 by 12 sheets in this case I have this cardstock sheet right here and then I have this sheet right here that's a little thinner from the pink um, from the pink passport and this sheet right here came from the uptown sheet and so with that being said these two sheets I, just ch I chose to use them because I feel like they complemented each other really really well and so they each are single sided as you can see one sided paper so what I did is I combined these two sheets to make a double sided sheet so I took this sheet on this side and I took this sheet and I laid them just like this and I glued them together going around the edges and also in the middle and I let it adhere and it became one double sided sheet so that's another tip for you with doing that this is how my loaded envelope came out for that one it came out just like this so you can see I did the collar a little different on this one this collar is a whole lot bigger as you can see but I chose to do that because I didn't want to cover up the girl's face right here and I'm also even contemplating on thinking about cutting this pocket down just a little bit here so that way this young lady can show a little bit on the paper because the paper is so pretty now with doing pattern papers this is what I mean you can see the design is just like this and when you flip it you can see the whole beautiful design on the back but keep in mind when you go to fold it up for that pocket you're gonna see where it bends at and so then that's how this becomes that way so it looks like it's, it's was upside down as you can see but it adds character to your loaded envelope so on the back it looks like that and I want to create a little small collar so that way she wasn't covered up and to add a little fun to it and so that's how that was created there and I didn't add any adhesive to it yet because I'm still thinking about cutting this down so that way this image will show so that's just to give you a general idea of how to make your own double sided paper if you don't have a lot in your stash like myself so I hope that was really helpful to you feel free to follow me also on my Instagram page which is memory lane keepsakes 2017 I want to thank you for taking that time to watch this video continue to be blessed as always and happy crafting bye bye